In today's video, I'm going to show how to get started importing data into Home Manage. So on my screen here, I have a CSV file, a simple CSV file, which has um, some columns at the top. Now, when you're importing a CSV file, it's always better to have the first row, first row here, uh, just just be the column headers for each of the rows you're going to import. And I've got all the data uh, separated by columns below that. File name is inventory list with barcode import barcodes import.csv. Now, if you don't have the file in CSV format, for example, let's say the data you want to import is in uh, Microsoft Excel spreadsheet format, what you can do is just uh, open the, the spreadsheet within Microsoft Excel and then save as. There's the save as command, and you just save it as a CSV file. And the reason for that is because it gets rid of all the formatting of the Microsoft Excel uh, cells, uh, which can cause problems when importing. So anyway, so I've got the data here. Let me close this. And so within Home Manage, all you need to do is select File, Import, and the default is going to be Microsoft Excel. We want to to import a CSV file so I'm going to select text files and let me go into home manage import folder I've got this file here that I showed before and so here we go there it is um, the bottom here uh, you could specify if the data is uh, separated by tab or comma and in the case of a CSV file obviously it's uh, which stands for comma separated values I believe uh, it's going to be separated by commas. So I'm going to select the file. Okay, so now we have the import data uh, dialog box. And at the, the first uh, section here is where do you want to import it to? And since we're importing assets, we're going to import to the asset database. You can also import dealers, manufacturers, customers, etc. Um, now you can choose to have all the uh, data imported to us to a particular location. Uh, but in this case, if you look here below, uh, basically the way this import file looks is uh, the facility is actually the location, and the location is kind of like, I guess, I guess you would call it the, yeah, the room uh, of the uh, location, description, uh, and asset tag here, and we have uh, base cost and total cost. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to click within the destination fields and select uh, basically map the fields between the two files so asset tag is going to become asset number description becomes description value current value sorry uh, and got base cost and total cost We'll just ignore these uh, other two fields for now. Oh, I'm sorry, of course not. Uh, under facility, you're going to map it to location. And the location we're going to map to room. There we go. So, um, now we've got 428 rows and we're going to import them into the program. So I'm just going to select the OK button. And as you can see here, it's created the new location and created the rooms and uh, mapped all the fields. Looks like it worked out properly. So look at the description. And we only had a couple of assets that actually had values uh, or cost. Um, so that's a simple import. Now, if you make a mistake and you just want to start all over again, what you can do to get rid of all the data is just select Control Shift Alt X, and as this warning message says, it's good. This is going to, to delete all the data, everything. So obviously, make sure it's uh, what you want to do before you click on Yes. So you just click on Yes here and exit the program and come back in again and try to import again. So that's that's what you can do if uh, 
you're just doing some test imports or whatever. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.